Hello YouTubers, hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm continuing with the torque tube kits and this time this is the torque tube, torque tube kit for uh, just to see how it looks compared to my face. Uh, torque tube kit for 450 uh, T-Rex. Oh, let me adjust this a little bit differently. So you can see now what I'm gonna open. I'm gonna make it a little bit closer. There you go. So as I said, this is the kit which came from Greece. Very light, just a protector. Spongy bubble wrap. And this is the main kit. Yeah, just the bag. Nothing special. See this. Nothing. Okay. That's a receipt comes from Greece, it was on sale, 87 euros, okay, and that's how the kit looks like, so, <clears throat> this looks like original, this looks like original, this doesn't look like original, but it's still, the what matters, it's inside, so that's a ingredients, or I should say, what's in halt, in halts of the kit. There you go. So compared to my arm, that's the size of the kit. There you go. Now we're gonna open it. Everything is intact. Yes. Because once when you open this once, you cannot seal it nicely. And that's for sure. Let's see what do we have. We have a tail blades. Nice. And we have this piece which is original. Wow, it's so smooth. It is so smooth. Look at that. It's very, very nice. It's aluminum metal, of course. And it's very accurate and smooth. So the gears are perfect fit. That's one bag, another bag. Okay. Yeah, it's not okay. Looks really original, and that's what matters, right? So now we know it's a new kit. We have a manuals here, and then we have this. Also, it's not tarot, it's not anything else, it's original <clears throat> a line, right? It looks original and it is original. A line. 
It's fairly easy. Right, we do have inside. This thing is rubbing on the main gear and that skirt gear or whatever. It's the proper name. It translates its energy into the rotation just 90 degrees instead of this way, it was this way. And then we have a bag with the small pieces also intact, never been opened. With the screws and small pieces required for assembly. And that's the kit itself. Manuals, just one piece of paper. available for the younger available for the younger generation when they say why did you bother having a t-tail uh, assembly and that complexity of that thing <laughs> if you just could have like a drive <coughs> uh, drive a train or whatever drive a tail direct drive I wanted to say direct drive right so we're gonna open this the last but not least in the video what's inside the torque 2 kit we're gonna open another bag and inside that uh, already open bag but that's a normal that comes with the original torque to align with a okay with the small thing here I'm hoping it's it's clear it's the same on both sides and that's the <laughs> that's the thing you can put into this sleeve right I was watching some of that into this sleeve which is a rubber rubber piece rubber piece which holds the bearing holds the bearing in place right of course I'm gonna not forcing it because it has a special shape which holds it yeah which holds it together in place and then you're gonna be just pushing people say don't put it in the middle because it's gonna introduce vibration oscillation or whatever this is aluminum this is aluminum i think this is a carbon fiber yeah that's a carbon fiber i don't like the carbon fiber but apparently people do like it i don't know and that goes inside this hollow tube which is a 450 helicopter ally right and that's a kit which was made and that's all pieces you have there you go I don't want to open this because it's gonna be all over everything <laughs> but you can see just screws needed to finish and again you had this support also carbon fiber and the plastic ends uh, uh, supporting struts which holds the core assembly to the yeah and that's the main two main pieces and it should be fairly fairly nice because <coughs> back according to the manual yeah assembly optional parts oh, there is an optional part okay we will see oh. and i want to show you now this thing here it's over there i tripped my so i can go a little bit wider why not trip my tripod right this is the bag I bought a long time ago. That's, that's the 
bottom portion, nothing special, right? But this is very important, right? <laughs> Insert heli here. <laughs> That's nice. I wanted to show you how it's very practical. It can hold two heli, 450 size. Right? One heli, a second heli. You, you have straps inside and sponge, so you can. And you have a, two bags, you can support nicely helicopters so they don't move. You have two big pockets here. You can put whatever you want here, like the charger and stuff. Yeah, but the things I want to show you is this bad guy here. So that's gonna be mean. two pieces I love to buy whenever I can two pieces of exactly the same model and this time also I didn't regret buying it because that looks really good now <coughs> having this guy here working for so many years I didn't fly that often I must admit I crashed it once you can see here how it's bent I just bent it back rubber pieces so that's the idea right how to let's open it how to do this and change it from belt to torque tube And it should be fairly, 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 fairly easy. That whole assembly will have to go instead of existing one with the belt. Yeah. And two should be fitting same size here or the different size, whatever. compare you can see the difference you can see the difference between these two this one is bigger and beefier compared to that gonna be interesting to see the main reason is because all big helicopters and original helicopters they have move it a little bit here they have a torque tube right and torque tube is it gonna be running smoother or not we will have to see we will have to watch and check. See, this is fairly. Stop it quickly. Maybe my belt is too tense. I don't know. Yeah. Now we're gonna see how it works when I change it to torque to belt, not not torque to belt, torque to to tube instead of belt. See, it works very nice, but it's gonna be working better with this thing. That is the video, what, what is it in the kit? And of course I had this one, the brand new one, never been flown, bought the same year, 2007, when I bought the original one. Proper grommet, but there. See, never been flown. 
and this is gonna be candidate. Maybe I'm gonna just leave this one with the belt. And that thing goes here. Right. Okay. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. <laughs> yeah, last time I said Greek. It's not Greek, it's a Greece. I'm from Croatia. I live in Canada. I love Canada, but I'm proudly Canadian, Croatian or Croatian Canadian citizen. And I love Europe, love America, love Canada, love whole world, all good people with good will, not bad people, just good people. Yeah. And I'm from Croatia. I was born in Germany, lived in Croatia for 20 years, escaped the war in Bosnia and Croatia and came to Germany and from Germany to Canada. So peace, enjoy and be happy. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. And not to forget, this video is recorded with my very good camera and tripod AX700 Sony and Manfrotto 055. And of course, AX43 was used to record this finishing movie, which records right now. <laughs> also Sony. <laughs>